Designing a Baroque festival, designing any festival, when you're artistic director, can be compared to painting a watercolour. One redeeming feature, at least where I'm concerned, is that I am never a purist. I am not a purist. You have an idea of what you are going to create, you know what colours you are going to use, but at the end of the day, as time goes by and you're working on this watercolour, there are circumstances which may vary. It is a work of art. It's an extremely interesting process. You're running over practically two centuries of music. If Bach has been transcribed, and the works of Bach have been transcribed by so many famous composers like Busoni, like Liszt, like Stokowski, they have been transcribed so often that that is what kept them alive at a time, for instance, where it wasn't fashionable for, for anybody to play Bach. In the 1950s, uh, Glenn Gould, the famous Canadian pianist, went to Moscow and Baroque music was practically unknown in the, in the sort of, in the shrine of Tchaikovsky and Rachmaninoff and Rimsky-Korsakov. And he played to a, almost an empty um, hall at the conservatoire. He was playing, he was playing Bach. And of course, in those days, they didn't have mobile phones, but people sort of sneaked out and started phoning people up. And by the end of his concert, there were people hanging from the chandeliers because nobody had ever heard in Moscow, nobody had ever heard Bach played like that. There can be no festival, Baroque festival, without him. 